Here we are. Look at this. This is the Andrew Wyeth Studio. This is a repurposed 19th century schoolhouse that served as the studio of Andrew Wyeth from 1940 to 2008. Wyeth, if you don't know, is one of America's best known painters and uh, illustrators. And uh, he, if you ever see one of his paintings, it's always like of houses right there. And it, it, I'll, I'll pop up a picture of a Wyeth painting. And he lived in this area, Chad's Ford, not too far uh, from Brandywine, the Brandywine Battlefield, not too far from the state of Delaware. But this is where it all happened. And like I said, if you see you know, a Wyeth painting, you're like, oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh, look at this. Has a 50s feel to it. I think this, so please. Oh, look at that. I am working. Please do not disturb. I do not sign autographs. That's the sign he had on his front door. Wow. I wonder how many people, yo, a lot of people had to knock on his door for people to say, yo, stop knocking. Stop knocking at my house. I look at the drawings on the ground. That house, that's all his stuff. Those are his paints, his brushes. They do do a uh, tour of the house. They do seasonal tours. This house is part of the uh, Brandywine Art Museum, which isn't too far from here. There it is. Look, it has one of the doors. You ever see these doors, the halfway doors? It's a peaceful little part of the world. We're about... Uh, I don't know, about 35, 40 minutes from Independence Hall. And uh, that's Center City, Philadelphia. And uh, I, when I came here today, uh, I guess look at the house. What I came here for today is I wanted to go to the Brandywine Battlefield. Did a little bit of research on that yesterday. And uh, turns out I, <laughs> I didn't do enough research. Because the battlefield is only open on Fridays and Saturdays. Absolute horseshit. I drove all the way out here. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is like his house. See all his books? There's some more drawings and paintings on the ground. This area was flooded in 20, uh, 2021. This whole area was flooded. The Brandywine River isn't too far from here. There's a real big museum. Associated, there's a lot of Wyeth paintings in that museum and from what i understand the museum so got a lot of damage a lot of uh a lot of stuff was uh so they're still working on the grounds today i was there it's 2023 they're still working on the grounds um and i guess what we'll do is we'll, we'll uh i'll show you the uh, we'll walk back to the car and there's like a hiking trail around the museum um, I made a video in the museum uh, with my friend Brian about uh, it, right, like right when, like when the museum started opening during the pandemic. You remember everything closed, and then uh, I started going around to all the museums, and I would, uh, you know, see how safe things were. Um, that was like something I was doing. 
And this museum was pretty, uh, pretty good. There was like only like three people allowed into a room, and and uh, it was a great day because I, uh, I'm not really, I like art. I appreciate art. Um, uh, I don't know a lot of art history, and my friend Brian, he was uh, an art student. He went to uh, art school. We actually taught art in Camden. And uh, he was teacher of the year, Camden, New Jersey, which is a tough spot to be a teacher. He was teacher of the year two years in a row. Um, so getting to go to an art museum with an art teacher, that's probably the way to do it, you know? So, uh, yeah, so Brian took me around that museum and he showed me some things and he... Uh, he really made me appreciate that museum more than I ever could. I would, there's no way I would, uh, but look at this, man. Look, see, that looks like a Wyeth painting right here. It looks like a Wyeth painting. If you go down Route 1, about 30 miles, that's where they make hers potato chips. And you can actually take a tour of the factory. It's about 1.30 in the afternoon, so I don't think I'm going to do that today. We've got plenty of time. We've got all life to come back. Man, look at this. Uh oh. No pavement. You got to kind of. Looks just like a Wyeth painting. <laughs> I wonder if he painted that house. One cool thing about this museum, uh, you know, is, is how, how much Wyeth work it has inside it. But the trail connected to the. Uh, Museum is really nice, and it's right next to the Brandywine River. It's a really nice place to walk. This is part of the art museum. It's like a big campus. Um... And the cool thing about walking around this campus is there's a uh, free art to look at. There's some free sculptures and all types of stuff. So let's see if we can find some sculptures. This is called Boy with a Hawk, made by Charles Parks in 1971. It's a tall ass boy. It's pretty big. I gotta tell you, I'm kind of bummed out right now. Um, my friend Brian, the guy who I went, went to the museum with a few years ago, he passed away. He, he's no longer with us. I was just thinking about how much fun we had that day. We had a really nice day together. The Brandywine River Museum of Art. It's right here. This is the museum. And like I said, it flooded in 2021. And they're still recovering. That looks like a mission's $18. And uh, <clears throat> the... When I went through that museum with my buddy Brian, he said like this is one of the most impressive art museums. And he's like an art student. He didn't even know this museum existed. And he said like this is like one of the most impress impress impressive collections of art 
uh, probably one of the most important American museums uh, in the last century. Right. So I got a photo of this cow. And what I'll do is I'll post it on Instagram. I even I think I put them on YouTube too. I just say, where am I? Sometimes people get it right, but usually nobody nobody has a clue where the hell I am. I don't think I oh man. And there's more of the hiking trail down here. Let's see where this goes. This gets you past Route 1. See, this stinks. I would have, I hate when I go to trails like this and I don't have Rick the puppy with me. Um, like I said, I wasn't planning on hiking today. I was planning on doing a little history, a little research. Find out more about George Washington and, and, and the Battle of Brandywine and all that, but... For some reason, nothing's open during the week anymore. Looks like a Wyeth painting. You're going to hear me say that a lot. Could you imagine, like, living in this area in, like, the 30s, like, before there was TV and it snowed? What the hell do you do? What do you do? I guess you're chopping firewood all day to stay alive. I have a friend who moved to another state, and he's in the middle of building a log cabin. And, uh, you know, I was like, what do you do for fun? He goes, I don't do anything for fun. I do everything for survival. I chop wood. Uh, I cook for the family. So. Hey, Doug. I don't know what to do there. What do you do? You say hi, right? When you walk past somebody, you say hi. That's what I do. Usually... Now, in Center City, Philadelphia, if I walk past you, I don't say anything to you. But since we're the only two people on the trail, I got to say hi to her, right? I got to let her know I'm not going to assault her. <laughs> yeah, it's the Brandywine River. Now above me is uh, Route 1. And uh, George Washington was on this street. It had a different name. It wasn't called Route 1 then. We didn't have an interstate highway system. See, the battlefield is about a mile in this direction. Yeah, I don't think there's any way for me to get to the battlefield from here. Fuck. That sucks, man. Check out the nest built underneath this highway. Any bird people? What kind of thing would build a nest like this? Watch it be a hawk and watch it, like, peck my eyes out. <laughs> 